Cool, so all you guys now on to mute, so it should just be myself that shows up on the screen. Um, this morning, guys, when you just start yourself, just see on the floor, um, so obviously mobility sessions, sit, sit however you can, you feel comfortable, sit across the leg, you can sit just your legs out in front of you, just whatever you feel feels comfortable for you to start with. Um, we're just going to work our way through the body, um, and then the last bit of the mobility, we're going to kind of spend a bit of time working through, through the hips, kind of focus on the hips, but to start with, we'll work our way through. Um, so we're going to do to start with, just starting from the upper body, just resting the shoulders, keeping the shoulders low, we're just going to circle the head, going in one direction, nice and easy to start with. Nice little circles going right way around. Really trying to exaggerate the movement as well. So get the head coming right way back, looking up to the sky, chin onto the chest, and then over to each elbow, over to each shoulder. From there, then we're just going to go the opposite direction. Again, nice big loose circles right way around. And steady there, back to centre. When you come back to centre, then keeping the shoulders low, we're going to take ourselves over to the left side. So taking the ear, the left ear over to the left shoulder. Just feel that stretch coming up the outside of the neck. Try and keep the right shoulder low. And then all you're going to do from there is just nod the head back and forth. Nice and gentle, just back and forth with the nod. And another couple on that side. And steady there, return to centre, a little pause in the centre, then take the ear over to the right side now, so take the right ear over to the right shoulder. Again, just see you feel that stretch coming up the side of the neck, and then again, just going to nod back and forth, We're just looking to do about 10 or so on each side, just nice and slowly. Just trying to get through as big a range of movement as you can, again, just feeling that stretch. As you move, you stretch. You should be able to go that a little bit further each time, which is loosen off a little bit further each time. And steady there, return the head back to centre. From there now, keeping the hands just in front of the body, all we're going to do is we're just going to roll the shoulders nice and slowly. You really want to bring the arms right the way through, right the way to the front as far as you can, and then circle right the way back as wide as you can. Nice big full range. Try and get the shoulder blades coming together at the back. Really open up. And at the front, again, push the arms right way forward. Then going the opposite way, again, now sweeping right the way through. And stretch right the way out to the front. When you come out to the front, what we want to try and do is try and get those shoulders coming right the way forward. So we're really rounding that upper back to get the shoulders coming forward. And then all the way back with the elbows and sweeping through it. And steady there. Now we're just going to take the arms out to the side. Palms pointing out now. From there, just little circles going one way. Keep pushing out through the palms the whole time. Just little circles, just flossing through the shoulder. And then going the opposite way. Keeping pushing out through the palms the whole time. And steady there. Bringing the hands back down, back to the front now. Once we get back to this position, all we're going to do is now start rotating. So we're just going to take the hands and slowly just start walking round. Just to the left to start with. Just walk round as far as you can. You can use your legs. You can assist on that push as well. So you've got your, your legs crossed. You can use this to help push around. And again, just go as far as you feel comfortable. You feel that stretch through the back, through the thoracic. Once you get to the point where you're kind of starting to stick and you're starting to stop, what we're going to do is take a big deep breath in, and then as you exhale, try to go that little bit further. So big deep breath in. And again, as you breathe out, we're going to go just that little bit further. Just going to hold there. Five, four, three, two, and one. Walk yourself back around, back to the front, back to centre, and then this time taking yourself around to the right. Again, just nice and slowly, just walk yourself around, walk the hands around. Again, once you get to that second point, again, as before, take a big deep breath in. And as you exhale, try to go that little bit further. Big deep breath in. And again, as you exhale, just go that little bit further. Again, we're just going to hold that position now there. For five, four, 
three, two, one. Relax there, bring yourself back round, back to centre. From there, we're going to take ourselves round into all fours. So nice and slowly make your way round onto all fours, just onto the knees to start with. Hands just below the shoulder. From there, all we're going to do is just extend and flex the spine. So first of all, we're just going to push your tummy down towards the floor. We're pushing our tummy down towards the floor, so we're flexing through the spine. And then from there, we're going to go the opposite. We're going to push our back to the sky. Tuck our chin in, tuck our head in. Now extend into the spine. And coming back down, tummy to the ground. Yeah, you really push the tummy down to the floor. And then back up to the sky again. Tucking the chin in, really trying to get that big arch through the back. And then once again, pushing the tummy down to the floor. And again, trying to get through that nice big full range. You want to get our tummy down as low to the floor as we can. We want to again have that arch through the back this time. Okay, concave arch. And then one more time, push to the sky. And to three, two, one. And relax back there, back to all fours, back to a, a neutral position. From there, take the hands forward slightly. So the hands now go slightly forward in front of the shoulders. From there, all we're going to do is we're just going to keep knees shoulder width apart, push ourselves right the way back, push our bum back in between the heels, head going down to the floor, arms extending all the way up overhead. Once you get the head to the ground and your profile is nice and low, you want to get your hips as low to the floor as you can, pushing the bum back, slowly start walking the fingers forward. Just need to feel that stretch, coming right the way up through the back and the lats, up through the shoulders, into the arms and out. Just going to hold that position there, feeling that big stretch. If you feel the stretch start to ease off as you're in position, then slowly start to walk the fingers forward a little touch more. Keep pushing the bum back behind us as well. And from there, I want you just to come back up onto all fours, but carry on straight through, kicking the hips down to the ground. Again, arching through the back, looking up this time. Driving the hips down into the ground as you do, so you should feel that nice big stretch coming right way up through the front of the body. And then from there, back up, we're going to push right way back again, so we're going straight back, back into that child's pose all the way down again, head to the floor. Drive the bum back, drive the hips back. We want to push the hips back into that gap we're creating in between the feet. And get them back as far as you can. Try and get your profile as low to the ground as you can. Again, walking the arms out, walking the fingers forward. Three, two, one. And we're going to come forward again. Straight through, hips down to the ground. And then we're just going to do another three, so push back. A little bit quicker this time. And forward. And back. Each time driving the bum back. Really extend it out, getting that shoulder up overhead. And forward. Hips coming right away to the ground. Drive the hips into the floor. One last time, back we go. And finishing forward, there we go, hips down to the ground, one final time. And stay there. From there, we're going to come back up onto all four now. Once we come back up onto all four this time, what I want to do now is keeping the left arm where it is, we'll take the right arm loose. First of all, you're going to internally rotate across the body, stretch across the body as far as you can, really trying to get that arm right away across the body. Once you've stretched as far as you can, and then we just drop that shoulder down to the floor, so drop that right shoulder down to the floor, bend the left arm, keep the knees underneath the hips, and just feel that rotation, that stretch through the core. Just holding that there. 
five, four, three, two, and steady there. Push yourself back up, back into all fours. This time taking the left arm loose. And again, we're just going to reach through behind that right arm again as before. And again, once you reach through as far as you can, same detail, drop that left shoulder down to the ground. And just hold that position. Holding there again, just for a final five, four, three, two, one. And again, we're coming back up onto all fours. Once we get back up onto all fours, and now we're going to go into a zenith rotation. So what we're going to do is zenith rotation is take the knees just slightly outside a, a hip width apart. From there, first of all, what we're going to do is just push the hips back. So all we're looking to do is just push the hips back. So we're setting the hips in place. We're not looking to move through the hips. From there, put the hands down just in front of the body where it's comfortable. And then all we're going to do, first of all, is take the left hand, back of the left hand, just going to place it onto the back. And then from there, all we're looking to do is rotate round as far as we can, just get that rotation through the back and back down. The whole time, keep the hips driven back, push back. That's going to lock them in place. Reduce the round. Nice and slowly, back down. Rotate round. Back down, and each time just go as far as you're comfortable. You'll feel that wee sticking point each time. Each time, just try and go that little tiny touch further if you can. Another couple on this side. And one more. And steady there. Pop the left hand down to the floor now. Now taking the right hand again, back of the right hand into the back. Again, make sure those hips are set back so they're not rotating. And then again, off we go. Just rotate round. Back in. Rotate round. Back in. And the whole time, make sure we keep those hips driven back, locked in position. If we're up high in this kind of position and we do that movement, your hips come through. So your hips end up rotating. So you don't get that rotation through the back. We want to get the back moving, mobile. Again, stretch around. So the couple on this side. And steady there. From there, we're going to go back to the left side. So again, setting our bum back. This time, the only difference is I want you to externally rotate the shoulder. So I want you to bring the shoulder up behind the head this time. And again, same detail. I'm just going to go around. Back in. Again, making sure those hips are still pushed back. And just getting that rotation. Depending on kind of where you're tight through the back, having the shoulder internally or externally rotated will kind of hit different people in different areas. So it's worth doing both variants. And steady there, put that left hand down. Now taking the right arm again, up behind the head this time. And again, I'm just going to rotate round. Back in. Rotate round. Back in. Again, just another couple on that side. Another one. And steady there, steady there. From there, bring ourselves up onto our feet briefly. Once we get up onto our feet, feet shoulder width apart, all we're going to do from there is just squat ourselves down, nice and low, elbows just to the insides of the knees to start with just that small amount of pressure, just gently pushing the knees apart. From there, if you get the hands together, get the hands in together, hold that position, you can go a little bit further, and you can get the knuckles in together, and again, push just that a little bit further. Just going to hold that there, just for five, four, three, two, and one from there. Now, let's take the elbows loose from inside. And we're just going to take yourself down onto the bum into a 90-90 stretch. So you're going to have one leg out in front of the body at 90 degrees, and then the other leg is coming out behind the body at 90 degrees. With the hands, all you can do with the hands is you use the hands just to push the torso up. So try and keep the torso as upright as you can, and try and keep the knees driven down onto the floor, so you've got internal rotation on this lead leg 
and external rotation on that back leg. You're holding it there, just keeping that position. And then from there, all you need to do is just switch over. So you just want to spin yourself around, bring that opposite leg across on the front, and then at the back now I've got my right leg across the front of me, my left leg behind. And again, use the hands just to keep that torso as upright as you can. Again, you'll probably find one side, you're, you're a wee bit more like this on one side, and then the other side you can keep yourself more upright. It's just doing the exercise more, you'll be tight through one side of the body a little bit more than others generally, depending on kind of which side is more dominant. Again, just holding that there for three, two, one. We're going to spin back around to our original position. So again, spin yourself back around now. So again, you've now got the left leg out in front and the right leg behind you. If you've done it opposite, that's fine. Just get yourself in position. What I want to do now is we'll take it a little bit further on that external rotation of the hips. So again, with the hands, just place the hands to the floor just to support the body, keep the torso as upright as you can. What I then want you to do with that back leg, I just want you to lift it up and from there, Kick out as far as you can, back in, kick out as far as you can, back in. I say as far as you can, it's not going to be far, it's not going to be a great distance you're going to cover. You want to feel, you feel the hip, you'll feel that the glutes working away through that external rotation. Just nice and slowly, kick it back in. And now if you need to rest in between each one, that's fine. I'm just going to do 10 or so again on that side. Another two. One more. Steady there. From there, spin back around. And again, use your hands to support you. You'll find one side, me particularly one side, I'm, I'm well over on this side, just some tighter through there. And um, so more time, more time spent doing the exercise on this side is kind of the, 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 the fix for that. So again, same detail, sit yourself up. Use the hands to push and push yourself up. And then again, if you can, lift that leg up. Kick out, back in. Kick out, back in. Again, remember, your kick's not going to be far. It's only going to be a few, a few inches. Don't expect to kind of fully extend your leg out behind you. If you can fully extend your leg out behind you, you've got an issue with your hip. You shouldn't be able to kick out all the way behind you. Your kind of ball and socket joints are going to stop that. And again, just another couple on that side. And relax there, back to your knee, knee position. Again, if you're tight through one side, best thing to do is just sit in that position. That's a great stretch. You can just kind of sit in the position. You, you start to loosen off, you feel the stretch just coming in. So all we're going to do from there now is we're going to bring ourselves back round, legs to the front. Just give the legs a little shake out. And then from there, we're going to go back up onto our mat. This time, take ourselves onto our knees. Once we get ourselves onto our knees, guys, all we need to do, first of all, is just set yourself up with the knees just below the body. We're going to go into now a frog stretch. So what we're going to do from here, guys, is we're just going to walk the legs out. Just as far as we're comfortable, just so we start to feel that stretch through the adductors. We can use the hands to support ourselves to start with, just to get ourselves into position. And then if we can, once we're in position, with the legs just flat to the floor behind us, and simply set ourselves up and just like gravity work on us to start with. So we've got that initial stretch. And as we're here, gravity is just going to gradually Sort of work on us and push down. You feel that stretch, you should feel that stretch coming right the way through the front of the hips. Keep the body upright and squeeze the bum at the rear. So engage the glutes at the rear so you're, you're actively looking to push the hips forward. And just going to hold that position there. Just letting gravity work away on us. Just for five, four, three, two, and one from there now, we're going to take the hands over towards the left side. Just using the hands just to support our weight. We're going to take all the weight over onto the left side, extend the right leg out, and then again, we're just going to sit back into that position. So again, keep our body upright, keep our torso upright again. And just feeling that stretch intensify down that extended leg now. So this is kind of getting close towards almost kind of being in the splits for some of us. It's probably as close as we're ever going to get. And again, just letting gravity be the work on us. So, so we're simply just keeping the torso upright, keeping the body upright, squeezing the bum, squeezing the bum, and just letting gravity work away on us, push us down. Again, holding that position there, just for a final five, four, 
three, two, one again, supporting the weight on the left side, bring that right leg back in, just back in, just to that wide position. So again, you feel that initial stretch. Now take the hands over to the right side. Again, supporting the weight on the right side. Extend the left leg out. Again, once you're comfy, once you're in position, you can then sit back up again. Just like gravity again, work away. Again, you feel that stretch coming right away through the interior of the thigh. Again, we're just going to hold that there just for five, four, three, two, and one. Again, right hand down, support the weight, bring the legs back in, and then from there, bring the legs all the way back in. Once you've brought the legs all the way back in, you're just going to make our way back up onto our feet. Once we get ourselves back up onto our feet, what we're going to do is just step forward with the right leg into a low lunge or to a deep lunge position. If you need to rest the back knee, you can rest the back knee to the floor to start with, and just push the hips down into the ground, just feeling that stretch right away through the hip. From there now, taking the hands, let's pop the hands down onto the floor. Once you've got the hands down onto the floor, if you can, use the hands just to support yourself. What you need to do is raise that back leg up, and again, still pushing the hips down to the floor, you now get that big extension through the hip. And then from there, just to take it a little bit further, we're going to add a rotation into the movement. So the hand that's closest to the foot should be right hand if you're, if you're kind of doing the same as I am. And then all we're going to do is we're just going to rotate round to the sky. And then come back down. As we come back down, come down with your forearm rather than your hand. Try and get your forearm as close to the floor as you can. Then again, rotate round. Back with the forearm. And just with another three, rotate round. Back with the forearm. Rotate round. Back with the forearm again. Pushing that a little bit further every time. Rotate round. And back with the forearm. Steady there, pop the hands down to the ground, pop that back knee down, take yourself back into the low lunge position. Again, bring that knee back to the floor, and then this time step forward with a left leg. Again, nice big, deep lunge to start with, keep yourself into position, just feel that stretch coming right away again through the hip. Rear knee on the ground if you need to, just to support the position, just to build it in, get yourself into, into position, get yourself comfortable. Or not comfortable, each stretch you should feel slightly uncomfortable, but you shouldn't feel painful or anything at all. From there, once again, hands down to the ground, and then again, raise that rear leg. Ideally, you want to be in the position where your, your arm or your forearm is, is level with your shin, both are vertical, and you're just holding that position there, pushing the hips down. Again, then from there, taking the hand closest to the foot again, there's my left hand. I'm just going to rotate round again as far as I can. As I rotate round, I'm still pushing my hips down to the ground. I'm then going to come back round with my forearm. Again, try and get my forearm to the floor. Not doing very well at all. And then rotate round again. Back in, trying to get that forearm to the floor. Again, we're doing another three. Rotate round. Try to get that forearm to the floor. Rotate round, forearm to the floor, one more. Again, rotate round. Again, pushing that forearm down to the floor. And stay there. Again, rest the hand. Again, pop that knee back to the ground. And then again, set yourself back into knee position. From there, what we're going to do now is we're going to step forward into that whole lunge position once again. Again, stepping forward again, pushing the hips. Down towards the ground. Again, pushing the hips down towards the ground. This time, as you're pushing the hips towards the ground, all what you then to do is take the, the opposite arm. And all we're simply going to do is, as you're pushing the hips towards the floor, we're going to push that arm up to the sky. Come back down. Again, drive it up to the sky. Come back down. So you're looking just to increase that stretch. Right the way through the hip, reaching all the way up to the sky. 
really stretch up as high as you can. Back down, stretch up as high as you can. Back down. From there, you're going to bring your stance in slightly narrower, so bring your, your rear legs in slightly closer to the, to the lead leg. And then from there, if you need to need a bit of support, you're just going to take hold of the ankle. And from there, push the hips forward once again. If you can't get hold of the ankle, if you're, if you're in the laundry room or anything, you've got a sofa or anything nearby, you do exactly the same. The, the stretch is actually called the couch stretch. So if you've got a sofa or something, you can put your foot onto it, same detail, you can put your back leg on. The main thing is to keep yourself tall, squeeze the bum, and drive the hips forward. Again, if you're outdoors, if you're, if you're no, make sure your stance is a bit narrower than before. And then again, really drive the hips forward, push the hips forward. You should feel that big stretch coming up through the front of the hips like that. Two, one, and steady there. Let that foot, let that leg down. Take yourself back to the knee on the opposite side now. Again, into your little lunge, first of all. Your stance should be wide, first of all. So again, nice wide stance. Push the hips down towards the ground. And then again, if your left leg's forward, it's going to be my right arm. I'm now reaching up to the sky. Really stretch up as high as you can. Back down. Punch up as high as you can. Back down. Another two. One more. Steady there again. Walk yourself in slightly again, so you're making your stance a little bit narrower. And then again, kind of take a hold of that back leg. Again, driving the hip forward. Really from there, try and push that hip forward, really extend that hip, drive it into the floor. Final of three, two, one, and again, relax down there. Last stretches we're going to do, guys, just a, a nice big full body thoracic stretch. Some of you have done this before for anyone who has it. Um, it's a wee bit tricky to get into to start with. It's not too high. So what we're going to do from here, we set ourselves up on our back, feet flat to the floor. What I'm going to go to start with with the hands, just take yourself up with the hands, fingers pointing away from the body. And all I want you to do to start with is just want to raise yourself up into a bridge. And then back down. Just get in your comfy position, just so you can raise yourself up into that bridge. Sometimes if your hands are a bit too tight in together, you'll struggle to even get yourself off the floor. We want to be able to get ourselves off the floor. And then from there, we're going to go into thoracic bridge rotations. So all we want to do then is left arm staying on the floor, bring the right arm, bring it in, kind of in between the legs to start with. And then all I want you to do from there is you're going to push up into the bridge. As you push up into the bridge, reach right the way over towards that hand that's on the floor. So we're going to reach right way over and then come back down. Reach right way up and over. And come back down. So this is called a thoracic bridge rotation. So it's working all the way through the back and the core, a big stretch. It's working the glutes, it's working through the legs, it's working through the shoulder. So it's a great big full body stretch to finish off once you've got everything else. Warmed up and mobile. So we one more on that side. Again, up, reach right the way over. Try and get as close to that hand that's on the floor as you can. And back down. From there now, set yourself up. Right hand on the floor this time. Again, bring the left arm. And again, start getting with the elbow just in between the leg. And then again, just going to push up. Reach it over. And back down. Up and over. And each time you just want to hold that stretch. Just for a couple of seconds. No longer really than that. You probably struggle to hold it any longer than a few seconds each time. Again, a final couple on that side. Reaching up and over. One more. And steady there. From there, guys, we're turning back over onto our bum. Last thing we're going to do now, bring the feet in nice and tight together. Hands just on top of the toes. 
elbows on the outside of the, in the inside of the legs, just gently applying a wee bit of pressure to the inside of the legs. As we're doing that, try and make sure the body stays tall, so we keep ourselves upright, try not to hunch over, end up in this position. Keep ourselves tall. Just going to hold that position there, just for a final five, four, three, two, one. And relax there, guys. Let the legs come out in front of us. Give the legs a little shake through. Give them a little shake off. Give the arms a little shake off. And most importantly, guys, give us your special, big, 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 big applause, guys. Brilliant effort this morning, guys. Hopefully you found that session beneficial.